What's up guys? I'm Ashley Haas and let's try football. Let's recap last week with the good, the bad, and the what the fuck were they thinking. For the good, Ezekiel Elliott does it again. Hurdles, defensive linebacker from the Eagles, Trey Sullivan jumps completely over him. I think he still thinks he's playing track. Let's watch a replay of Ezekiel Elliott jumping over Trey Sullivan because that was insane. Elliott, big hole. I bet she's dying that he ended up, look at this. I mean, can you imagine knowing contact is coming and absolutely nothing? It's only a slight head to crotch ratio, but still lands it beautifully. Unfortunately, he lost his balance a little bit, so he didn't get the touchdown, but that was hands down the coolest and best play I saw all weekend. For the bad, we have Kyle Love, defensive tackle from the Panthers. Last week, they played against the Steelers. It was 52 to 21. And was he or was he not asleep on the sidelines? You be the judge. I personally don't think he was asleep. There's just no way. What I do know is my man sure can rock a crop top. Yeah, he definitely wins. And now for what were you thinking? Le'Veon Bell. I sure hope you know what you're thinking when you missed your 4 p.m. deadline on Tuesday. Oh, you gave up 14 0.5 million dollars. I know you're worth more than that, but you really took a chance and you really let your teammates down and they raided your locker room. Remove Le'Veon's number 26 nameplate from his locker. They also rummaged through his stuff. I mean, Bud Dupree got two new Jordan cleats out of it, so not a bad day for him. So Le'Veon Bell is no longer a stealer. And now he's wait till March when he's an unrestricted free agent to see who's gonna pick him up. I definitely think either the Colts, San Francisco, maybe even the Eagles, somebody is gonna pick up this kid and he's only 26 years old, so he's definitely got a lot more years to play, and he can score a bigger contract. It's a situation of two stubborn parties. I don't like that you let your teammates down. I also don't like that you didn't answer Roethlisberger's text. I get it, you're worth a lot of money, and the Steelers weren't willing to pay. I really hope you get it. Otherwise, what the fuck were you thinking? Now let's get into my week 11 picks, starting off with the fact that it's a bye week for Buffalo, Cleveland, Miami, San Francisco, New England, and the New York Jets. There's gonna be a lot of really close games this weekend. Most of the point spreads are three or two and a half points, except the New Orleans Saints are favored by nine against the Eagles. So let's start with the Eagles at the New Orleans Saints. Definitely gonna have to go with the majority vote on this one. I hate to say it, but Saints for the win. Dallas is gonna be traveling to Atlanta this week, and I'm gonna have to go with the Falcons. We can't forget about what happened last year, that 27 to seven fiasco. Oof resulted in at least one assistant coach getting fired. I know they played really well last week against the Eagles, but I just have a feeling that the Falcons are gonna win again. So, Falcons for the win. Carolina's traveling to Detroit. I'm gonna go Panthers. The Tennessee Titans are gonna be traveling to the Indianapolis Colts, and I'm gonna have to go with the Titans. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are gonna be traveling to the New York Giants, and my pick are the Giants. Houston Texans are going to be traveling to the Washington Redskins, and I'm going to go Texans for the win. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be traveling to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Pittsburgh wants to prove to Bell that they don't need him, and with that, I'm picking Steelers for the win. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to be traveling to the Baltimore Ravens, and I'm going to go Ravens for the win. Oakland Raiders are traveling to the Arizona Cardinals. Mm, I'll go Cardinals. I'm winging it on that one. The Denver Broncos are traveling to the LA Chargers, and 1,000% the LA Chargers, and they will cover the spread. Chargers for the win. The Minnesota Vikings are traveling to the Chicago Bears, and my pick are the Bears. They play better at home, and Minnesota right now is 28th in rushing. They're not playing good this year. They're not the normal Viking team. So with that, the Bears have a little bit of momentum. I'm going Bears. And that brings us to the game of all games. Monday Night Football. The 9-1 Rams against the 9-1 Chiefs, which was supposed to actually be played in Mexico City, but decided on Tuesday that the game is going to be moved to the LA Rams, which gives them slight advantage Oh, this is going to be an amazing showdown against two amazing quarterbacks. It's almost going to be like a preview of watching the Super Bowl. Ah, I've been going back and forth, and I think Patrick Mahomes is just a slightly better quarterback. Wants it a little bit more. I know it's home for the Rams, but I'm going to go Chiefs for the win. Either way, I can't wait to recap it next week with you guys. So, cheers, guys. See you next week.